Hello everybody, hope you're all doing really well and staying safe out there. Today I'm going to be talking about shot selection. Really important, whatever shot you are playing out on that golf course, whether it's to avoid trouble, or it's to help you recover, or simply it's just your natural shot. The more shots that you have in your armory, the better it is going to help you out on the course. If you are faced with a scenario where you simply cannot perform a shot under pressure, in a competition, there's going to be a few different problems that you might face. So I'm going to talk about how I hit these shots and whether you can integrate these into your shots. So I'm going to provide some tips here that are going to help you to try and hit these shots a little bit better. Maybe you just haven't thought about doing it this way. Now, I really want to help you perform these shots whenever, wherever you need to to get you out of trouble, to give you the best recovery, best score that you possibly can. So let's dive in. This is Nick Does Golf. So with shot selection, you've got your nine shots. These are split into three different sections. Okay, you've got your fades, draws, and straight shots. These are comprised of low, medium, and high. Now, depending on the scenario that you're actually in on the golf course, that was a mouthful, um, it depends on what scenario you are faced with. So whether you're recovering, you're in the trees, you might need a certain shot. So it might be a low fade just to get underneath and let it release out. It could be the shape of the hole. So it could be going 90 degrees to the right or the left. It does purely depend on what scenario you are faced with. So bear that in mind. Right, let's start with the straight shots and go from there. Now, for the medium flight straight shot, what I do is I set up neutral to the ball, so in terms of club face, square, feet, shoulder width, really try and get a good turn on the way back and on the way through, maintaining that neutral club face on the way through towards the target. So my version of hitting a lower one would be grip down slightly. I also lean towards the target, as you'll see in the video, I point and look low towards the ground. This is a good visual to have. If you were to throw a ball down towards the ground, you wouldn't look up, would you? So lean forwards, hit it low, okay? I also cut off my swing roughly about shoulder height with this one. And for the higher one, I would do the opposite. So I'm looking up towards the sky. That's where I want to hit the ball, so that's where I need to look. Okay, so I lean slightly further behind the ball and then pull the same triggers, same techniques as I would for a normal swing. Now for a draw, I would change certain things. Club face would be slightly shut. I would aim a little bit further right of the target and I would apply the same swing that I would do for a straight shot. This should hopefully give me a right to left ball flight of medium height. 
To hit a low draw, I would use this setup whilst leaning forwards and cutting off my swing. This is the best way for me to hit a low draw the way I want to. And to hit a high draw, I would use the draw setup, just like the previous one. And then from there, I would get behind the ball a fraction, looking up into the sky, hopefully to hit that nice high draw, starting right at the target. Now, to the fade. This isn't my natural shot. It used to be when I was younger, but not anymore. I'm gonna set up open, aiming left of the target. The club face would remain slightly open. Okay, I do like to push it forwards in my stance a fraction, just to open up my shoulders to the target. My aim is to keep that club face open towards the target for as long as I can, just to promote that left to right spin. For the low fade, I would apply exactly the same setup, apart from gripping down on the club and cutting off the swing, so making it a shorter backswing and a shorter follow through. This shot should start left of the target and come out nice and hot. Again, to hit the high fade, I would apply the fade setup, which I've just described, but I would start to look up towards the sky where I wanted it to start, left of the flag and drift right. I like to feel that I keep the face on the target for as long as possible with a nice high follow through. So, as you can see, there's not too much that you need to change. There's little tweaks here and there. You might want to add these in. Give them a try, see how you get on. Please let me know in the comments below how you've got on. If they made any benefit to you, I would really like to hear from you. Please bear in mind that this is just what I do. There is no right or wrong way of doing things. It's just personal preference. And this is how I manage to get the shots that I want to. So it's really important that you find your own way of doing things. There are other things that you might need to consider as well, such as wind direction, also slopes. Okay, on fairways and greens, they do make a massive difference, especially with the spin that you put on the ball. So before you pick the shot that you wanna play, please consider all these options. It's gonna make a hell of a difference to your actual end result if you do all of these and think it through logically. But there we have it. That's my version of how I play different shots. You never know when you're going to need these shots. So the more you practice, the better you can get at them and the more you can count on them, whether it's in a social event, just a knock or a competition at your club. The biggest piece of advice I want to give you is to not be afraid to try these things, especially when you're out playing in a competitive environment. The more you do it, the better your shot selection will be. You will get into a process of eliminating what shots you shouldn't play and what is the perfect shot that's going to get you to the better result at the end of it. I really hope you've liked this video. It's been a lot of fun making it. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and comment on the video. I'd really love to hear from as many of you as possible. Make sure you check out my social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok as well. Thanks a lot and see you very soon.